And this is Paul Dunn, live in Singapore, um, welcoming you. And you maybe can see some other pictures on the screen. I'm not sure whether you can. Hopefully, you can just see me, actually. But we do have some other people joining us uh, later on in our Connect Plus. It is stunning to see you here. and We've got uh, all a lot of great things, actually. So make sure that you stay tuned. Make sure also that you're hydrated or caffeinated, whichever is your wish. And make sure also that you've got lots of notes because there are really some very, very interesting things coming up. In fact, let me show you what those things are. Let me give you where we're heading in our 35 minutes today. And we do try to keep to that 35 minutes. Sometimes that's very, very hard. But first up, you're going to hear me for about five or six minutes talking in a very different way today, by the way, about the huge power of small. Then we've got our partner point where Carl Bischoff is going to spend 75 seconds, that's all, talking with you about some interesting ideas that he has for you. Then we are going to get to Masami's update. And by the way, that's a huge update today. Don't you dare leave uh, in the middle of that or even before it because you're going to see something that people around the world have not seen before. It's going to be a first on a web event and last but by no means least, those of you who are regulars to uh, the B1G1 Connect Plus would know that we always end with a B1G1 surprise and we have one of those for you today as well. So let's get into the huge power of small. Normally what I do is give you some ideas that you can implement in your business and uh, we're certainly going to do that today but we're going to come at it in a slightly different way. Now, the people who are joining us from Brisbane will have heard me do this live because something happened in Brisbane uh, last, uh, let's see, last month, this Monday, when we were doing a little program connecting in with all of the B1G1 uh, uh, partners there in Brisbane. And at one time, I had reason to go into the toilet. And you can see, yes, this is personal, and you can see what I saw. Now, you can see a little bit of what I saw. You can see I saw some botanical lime and coriander hand wash. And as you know, uh, we all are supposed to wash our hands and everything else. But what is interesting about this from the power of small, power of small point of view, this is a very interesting brand and here's the brand. There it is, thank you, right? That's the brand. But what was interesting is when I saw that, it's kind of like, oh, they're thanking me in advance for washing my hands. So guess what I did? I actually washed them. And I suspect that when people see that, that actually more people do, do that. It's a very, very interesting example of how the power of small can change behavior. And I wanna have a look at some more examples of where the power of small can change behavior. And particularly, I want you to do this. Now, don't do this now, but what you're seeing on your screen is what your B1G1 front page should look at, uh, should look like, I should say. And so when we finish this, I know some of you have already done it, but you know what, it's worth doing again. This is where I would love you to go. It says, this is one of the most important conversations that I've ever had. So when you click that link, please don't do it now. You're going to see some amazing insights from the guy on the left-hand side of your screen. That's Adam uh, Houlihan. And where this all came from is we were doing a session on the Power of Small, and then Adam mentioned that he was really, really surprised that it took some people a long time to get B1G1 really going in their businesses. And he said, you know what, if only they understood what, what, uh, what, what's been happening to me, I think we might change that sort of uptake. And essentially what Adam did was talked about how he uses B1G1 not as a giving platform. I mean, you and I know that B1G1 is just a sensational giving platform, but what if you also got that it's a fabulous, fabulous way to build your business as well. In fact, on that videotape, Adam highlights three things. Now, I'm not gonna go videotape. On that video recording of the interview, I'm gonna highlight three things that might just make you go and watch that recording. You're gonna see right up front in that recording a particular strategy, one that you can use right now that absolutely underpins uh, Adam's uh, it says their business growth, but I, I, we perhaps should put another word in there, amazing business growth. This is something that is absolutely central in the age of connection that, that Adam uses to connect in a very different way uh, with his clients and customers. That's the first thing you're going to learn. Second thing you're going to learn when you watch that particular interview is a particular way of using B1G1, particularly on web-based opt-ins, 
that gives Adam a staggering, and potentially you as well when you use it, of course, a staggering 34% increase in a particular process uh, that he uses on the web. So that's the second reason uh, for having a look at this video. I hope I've given you enough reasons already, but if they weren't enough, here comes the third uh, reason. You're going to see right towards the end of it a particular strategy using uh, actually uh, survey forms that where Adam incorporates B1G1 into the, survey, uh, into the survey form in a fascinating way. And what that does, because it helps him connect in a different way, it helps him get 100% conversions on one of his latest uh, service offerings. So please, please, please do go and have a look at that particular tape. You know what, or that particular interview. What I was thinking about was when you watch that interview, yeah, there were two things that I was really thinking about. One, that a lot of people think of B1G1 as charity, which of course it's, I mean, yes, it's a way of thinking about it, but what if you really got that it's actually connecting? And I went, after I'd had the interview, I went to Masami and I said, you know what, B1G1 is all about connecting and that's why we've got right in front of me right now, I can see impact, habit and connection. And Masami said, well, you know what it's actually about is gratitude. and then she said, you know what, and it's interesting, you cannot connect unless you're grateful. Interesting thought. And so the, when I started to put those two things together, I started to think about it a slightly different way. And I, there's two phrases here. One is to think about what can we do that adds in something, adds in that little bit more, or if you like, that little bit extra. Now, let me give you a way of doing that as you perhaps take a note of that. And it concerns. Um, a new B1G1 partner, he may indeed be online, that is Glenn Aykroyd um, in the United Kingdom. Glenn is running a very disruptive real estate business and he did um, a whole lot of things with gratitude certificates which I think uh, he would say he's now found a better way of doing. And essentially what he realized is that once he got that there was a link between gratitude and connection, he started looking and this whole thing about just a little bit extra or just a little bit more. And the reality is when we meet with people, we tend to connect with those people who are going just that extra little bit extra. And so what, what I thought about that was to think about one of those, those of you who've joined me uh, at our live events would know that one of the things we talk about is building, breaking your business down into these, uh, into different processes. And it occurred to me that if you start thinking about each and every process in the business and then asking yourself, how can you add in a little bit more connection uh, through using B1G1, then some very interesting things will happen. For example, in Glenn's business, once that is Glenn Ackroyd's in real estate, what he realized was at this very early point, or in the in the process when for example people came into um, open homes and that kind of thing you know maybe a lot of people came in maybe 20 or 30 people come into that open home and not everyone is gonna buy that's for sure but the interesting question is and he, he said to me he said you know when I think about that I'm really grateful that those people turned up whether or not they bought is irrelevant and so rather than just giving them oh here's my business card and all of that kind of stuff which every real estate agent would do then why don't we find a way of adding in some real gratitude through b1g1 and now they obviously get a gratitude certificate think about for example in when you think about it this way think about your emails I'm not sure how, how many emails you send today but there would be a few and just imagine that on the bottom of your emails, you decided that an extra way of connecting was to add in some giving down the bottom of the emails. And, and there are now a lot of people who are doing that. So my, my call to you today on, uh, in relation to uh, the power of small is just to go look at your business, look at different processes, and then figure out where you can add in something. And we were talking today in a little meeting here, and we decided that an interesting way of saying all of this is that B1G1 is giving that grows you and giving that grows with you. So as your business grows, so the giving grows as well. But of course, none of that happens unless the giving is embedded 
in everything that you do. And so we encourage you to think about the power of small in that way. And uh, hopefully that's, it, it's kind of, in a sense, a recap of many things we know, but hopefully by recapping, you'll really refocus on it again. So that's our huge power of small. Now remember, some interesting things coming up on this a particular guy who is in Queensland right now, who's probably saying, oh my goodness, it's time for me. <laughs> and Carl, it is indeed time for you. Let me just stop that uh, that thing there and come back live just for uh, just for a second. That's all right. Yeah, thank you. Look, uh, great to be here. I, I got I some good points that. out of that. I really like the gratitude certificate in the email. That I love that because uh, I mean I'm a marketing automation guy, and I help established business owners and entrepreneurs create custom sales funnels and leverage marketing automation to get a continuous flow of sales. So, um, uh, you know, I'd really like to uh, connect with more people out there in the community and see if I can help. And I mean, what does a custom sales funnel look like? I mean, that's like, you know, you might be doing something in Facebook where you're, you know, you create an offer and a landing page. You might be selling something or getting a discovery call or interested in your products. We'll set up that uh, campaign in Facebook and uh, drive traffic through and then automate the contact. Uh, so we all need to segment and order uh, and tag and uh, build our list. So yeah, I help people do that. And, and Carl, uh, can, I, can I just interrupt because I know you've only got 75 seconds, but I've just extended the 75 seconds for you because I need to say to people that Carl is a recent uh, B1G1 guy and uh, has been helping lots of people uh, some of whom are B1G1, uh, automating uh, their marketing thing, particularly or marketing funnels, particularly with uh, the use of Infusionsoft and stuff like that. So, Carl, uh, uh, just want people to know that we love what you're doing as well. Yeah, look, thank you. And, uh, uh, I mean, I really love, you know, I mean, for me, you know, you want to achieve lifestyle. So it's not, it's not about, uh, it's not about, I mean, no one's got more time. So, you know, it's not about doing more tasks. It's about the significance of the tasks and the return on time invested. So, you know, I really enjoy helping people leverage uh, marketing automation to, you know, save time, grow sales and, and get organized. So if anyone out there in the community would like to grab an automation checklist to sort of oh, like... Have you got a checklist that we can get hold of? Get, get into the swing of like, uh, you know, get the creative juices about you know, flowing in terms of what you might be automating and, and of course, you know, integrating this wonderful B1, G1 universe uh, as well, then you can go to my website, businessfluid.com forward slash checklist and um, I've got a marketing automation checklist there to sort of uh, get some ideas uh, if, if, uh, if you'd like to have a look. And I'd Really keen to uh, you know meet more of you people out there and and connect with you online. That's fantastic. So let's make sure. And Carl, well done. You you did that in uh, in seventy five seconds. So you're okay. We didn't have to find you or anything like that. Well done. Yeah. Um, and let's just give uh, everybody. We will of course do this on the recording. But let's just give everybody uh, the uh, uh, where where that all, all is now. And that's business fluid spelled exactly the way that you would think. Business followed by fluid with no space in the middle of it. Uh, dot com forward slash checklist. And guess what? You will get a checklist. <laughs> and Carl, it's great. Thank you so much for doing that, and thank you for being a part of Connect Plus. We've uh, we've loved the fact that you're here. Thank you for trying it out, and uh, hopefully, lots of people are online right now getting uh, getting that checklist for you. So let me go back. Thanks, Carl. Um, and for those of you who uh, wonder what that whole partner point thing is about, then what you do is we have up to five people uh, coming on, and they get seventy five seconds uh, to tell you what they're about. Uh, and maybe even just like Carl get, gave you some uh, checklists and all that kind of stuff. So if you'd like to be one of those people reaching out to people right around the world, then just let us know. It's a really, really uh, excellent platform. Now, with that in mind, uh, and talking of excellence and so everything else, let me just do this. Have a guess what's coming up. Yes, a lady sitting downstairs actually from me in the, in the uh, B1G1 office knows what's coming up right now because this is one of the most popular segments that we ever do on B1G1 Connect Plus. 
and today is going to be really, really special. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is Masami's update. Um, hi, hi everyone. So uh, today I have, uh, let me just uh, do the screen share first. <laughs> Okay, 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 coming. Okay, so um, today I have. Uh, um, can you see me? Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, two things to update you on, and normally I talk about three, but I um, reduced to two because one of the items um, is going to take a little longer time, and it's very special. So let me just go through the uh, first one. Okay, so the um, first one is about the. Uh, Coming. Okay. Can you see me? Oh, okay. Um, study tour discovery course. So tomorrow, just at the same time, uh, this time of the day, we are going to have a live call to give a sneak preview as well as a um, bit more information about the study tour. And this is for the people who already registered for the upcoming 2016 study tour to India. But if you are still considering, then you can come on this call to find out more. And then this is an opportunity where we actually hear from the past participants on this study tour, and uh, they will be sharing um, how being on the tour and meeting other members and also discovering the great impact that happened with the worthy causes directly on the ground impacted their life or their family's life or their business or their team members' um, lives. And so that's going to be very uh, interactive and interesting. So if you are curious, then uh, please come online and you will get the link uh, in the follow up email after this call. So then you can register. So one thing I wanted to do as a part of that um, share. So um, study tour is one of those things that we do to benefit um, the b one one members and partners and their understanding for the you know, impact of their giving. And so I just wanted to make it kind of part of, uh, I wanted to make you part of our future study tours as well. So for the 2017 um, study tour directions, not the next year, but the year after, uh, we wanted to hear your ideas about um, which destination excites you more. So let me just launch a poll. I hope you can see this. Can you see the question and then the options? So uh, the question is, for the 2017 study tour, uh, which di destination appeals to you more? The first one is Cambodia and visiting Angkor Wat. Next one is Borneo, and then doing a jungle cruise um, encountering wild or lanterns. Uh, another one is Nepal and then doing some mount mountain walks together. Uh, or going to Kenya and then doing safari. Um, at the end of it. So uh, these are some possible options, but if you did have other ideas, you can always let us know. So then you can vote for the other, but you can for now just to intuitively click one of those that appeals to you the more. Well, wow, you're breaking new ground. The first, time, the first time you've ever done a poll on uh, G1G1 Connect Plus. Well done. Okay. So is it okay to move on to the next? So you can still keep clicking, but I will go back to the screen share. So the next item, the second item that I mentioned is a B1J1 new systems preview. And it's a sneak preview. And um, you know, I think most of you know that the new, brand new B1J1 um, website is going to be launched sometime later this year and we haven't yet announced the launch date uh, but uh, we will be uh, making an official announcement later on but in the meantime uh, at each B1J1 Connect Plus event I wanted to give you a sneak preview about one specific segment of the new system so you can start thinking about how you want to utilize things or give back and also in the meantime we can receive some of your input and ideas and suggestions to make this even better. So uh, without saying too much, let me just go to the site. So now, let me see. Okay, so can you see um, the, my browser on your screen? So now I'm just going to log into this test site. So, okay, so now this is the, uh, test landing page, but um, 
Today, I want to showcase the main giving area. And uh, in the past course, I um, shared a little bit about the design samples and things, and then we had great feedback, but that was like the static design template. So today I'm going to share a particular area that uh, most of you would be using, or all of you, you will be using, which is the uh, B1G1 project list. So let me just go to the project listing page. So uh, this is the um, sample page of the new project listing. So now immediately, as you can see, there are you know, pictures of the B101 project seem to be much more visual. And then this is how the project keeps loading. So as you scroll down, you can see more and more projects automatically loading. So this will make it much easier for you to find out the new project, the project you've never noticed before, and so on. And uh, we will be listing project in your own um, uh, preference as well. So for example, I can just do a search, just like you can do now. Uh, but when you do this search, you notice, did you see how quickly the screen changed? So that's how quickly the project loads in the new system. So uh, it saves your time. It makes your giving more visually like interesting and engaging. But at the same time, uh, you can find out about the project, more about the project very easily. Without leaving this page, you can see the project description. You can choose the impact level. You can add to the card very easily. So let me just add some project in the card as I go. So let's say I might want to get to this one. And you yeah, might on the Q&A let us know so what you are thinking about this <laughs> as well. <laughs> and uh, this one. And then this one. So uh, you, do you see that the cart icon is bouncing as you load more items in? And so you can see how many things are in the cart. Um, also, if you uh, click through, so let's say if you want to find out more about this project, you can, of course, look at more details. And then you can see that similar project um, suggested to you as well. So in this way, we try to introduce you to new projects like you might not notice before. So now, if I'm happy with this, then I can go to giving card, just like you know, now you do it. But as you notice, it's much faster. And then also, uh, giving card itself looks much more visual too. So for now, this is the sneak preview of the main giving um, flow and then the interface. So if you, so far what you've seen, from what you've seen, if you have any suggestions or ideas, then please do send us an email by replying to the follow-up email. So now, is that okay? That's yes, right. <laughs> okay, so now uh, I would like to ask you a couple more questions very quickly uh, because the reason why I wanted to share this is to ask a um, bit about you know what you want to experience with your B1G1 giving. So there is another set of questions I wanted to ask um, you right now. So this is about your giving. Um, so with the new direction, new system direction of B1G1, we wanted to find out how you wanted to give back with B1G1 more. And this is a multiple choice question. Uh, so you can choose um, uh, items there. So you can either say you just want to give to many projects or you want to link your giving to your specific business activity or you want to automate the giving and make it easy or you want to involve your customers and clients in choosing the giving options or you might want to set a goal among the team and then uh, aim to achieve certain giving impact goals with the team or you want to support the same project longer term and then see the actual result and update about the project. So these are the uh, options that we listed here. And then you can just let us know uh, which ones matters to you more. Are people seeing the poll, are they? Yeah, 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 it's coming in. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah, and then based on you know these kind of uh, ideas that you share, we might uh, you know tweak our direction or the features or the how the features are introduced as well. So please do feel free to share um, your insight there. Okay, so there's just one more question. So uh, if I could just jump to the next one and end this one. 
So the last question is also related to the B1G1 systems. So this one is asking you which features you appreciate more uh, among B1G1 uh, features. And some, there, there, there is an item like connection with other members or business insight from Paul. And then rest of, rest of them are a bit more like uh, uh, system features as well. We just wanted to have a quick insight into what you use more or what you appreciate more, what you value more, so that we can deliver the things that you appreciate more and then do much better with th those items too. So. Okay. <laughs> Great. Thank you for um, interacting here. Oh. And your ideas. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Now, Masami, you're going to have to give me back the host if you can. I'm not sure if you can. So I have one more thing for you, and that is the B1G1 surprise. So hopefully you can see that up on the screen. Um, now, you're going to need your pencils and paper uh, right here because some interesting things have been happening. We've been noticing that more and more people have been recommending uh, B1G1 to more and more people. And so one of the things we wanted to do is to make that easier for you. And we have done that just as of last week. This is a very special page. I'll show you how you get to it in just a second. When you, uh, when you recommend others to B1G1, this is where they land. Um, and you can see there's some information here about the person referring you, notably you, and so on. Um, and it goes through that, uh, you know, you'll be building B1G1, as you can see, into the DNA of your business. Then it says down here, B1G1 or becoming part of it is really simple. Now, what's interesting is when people hit that get started button uh, and they choose the level of membership that they want, then guess what? What happens is, and this is all positioned as coming from you, they get a, a beautiful surprise from you. Uh, and it's actually, uh, am I allowed to say what the surprise is, Masami? Nod, if I'm allowed to say. Yes, she nods at me. So uh, they, they get a giving credit, some giving credit from you uh, as a way of getting them started. And that's all positioned as coming from you. And you get a giving credit from us as well. So it's kind of like a, a double whammy on that. Now, this is proving very, very useful already with some people that we've tried this on and have tried it out. And so here's, by the way, how you get to that page. But you probably don't want to know how to get to the page, but it's pretty simple. This is actually the link that you might send to your customers or clients or friends to get to that particular page that you just saw so that joining B1G1 becomes particularly easy for them. Now, what you need to do though is drop us a note. Currently, you have to drop us a note, team at b1g1.com, and you can request a code. And we would love you to suggest a code that's you know right for you. So Carl, yours might be Carl, I don't know. What it all might be checklist. <laughs> Whatever it is, you can you can create that code. And then what happens is when people, uh, when, when, when your referred person joins, then all of that happens automatically. So uh, we are looking forward to you uh, doing that. Just drop us a note again at b1g1.com. It's a really, real, or team at b1g1.com. It's a really, really wonderful and simple and connected way of getting more and more people to share in B1G1. And of course, as they share, then guess what's going to happen? Well, very soon, as Masami said, you're going to be seeing this as part of the interface. It is coming soon. And there you can see one of the new projects too, uh, uh, one up there in uh, Cambodia, which is really, really cool, uh, which is a, a circus for street kids. If you've enjoyed our time together today, by the way, you can go find that particular project on the current B1G1 site. And you might want to help support uh, that circus. It's an amazing, amazing thing. So do go do that. But let me just stop the share for a moment so I can come back and talk with you live, as it were. We almost did it in time today, which is fantastic. When you take away all the little things that we had with errors and stuff uh, that sometimes happen. But thank you for being a part of it. We are thrilled that you took time out of your day uh, to take time with us. Hopefully, uh, it's uh, enabled your day uh, to be a little more interesting, a little bit more fun, and as well, it's reinvigorated uh, the whole connection with us at B1G1. So thank you so much for being here. Looking forward to connecting with you in the coming month and, of course, on the next Connect Plus. Thanks, everybody, for being here. It's been a buzz having you here. Bye. Bye-bye.